hey guys so in my last session we saw what is exactly account group and how to define account group in SAP and at the end of the session I have shown you one screen that is the fill status group screen actually so what is fill status variant in SAP today we will going to discuss about the fill status variant so fill status, fill status variant is used to define the field which used for an input like suppose if I am entering a document and suppose I am saying that a rent received from a particular uh, client or uh, I received an interest then I want my text field in that particular document should have some value or my text field should have the explanation that rent received or income from ABC or income from XYZ so I want that text field should not left blank okay so what I need to do that for that so I will do a setting which will not allow a user to post a document without entering any value in a text field so if user is forgot or user did not enter any value in a text field he will not able to post that particular document okay so why we need a fill status actually because in some cases there are some objects which are required while posting a document suppose if I entering any expenses and I want any and I had assign a cost center to that particular GL account then the cost entry of cost element is necessary for that okay so is or suppose if I am like entering any particular material or any particular wages or any any entry for posting any document in SAP I need a particular fill should have some value and that value I'll control with the fill status variant so I'll say that without entering this particular value in a document user will not able to post that document so while posting suppose while doing any payment entry or while posting any expenses if user is forgot to mention a cost center for that particular document then how that cost will get calculated or how that cost object will get debited or how the how I'll come to know why I'm paying this or suppose if I'm receiving something and I want an explanation for that so I'm making a text field as a mandatory so that user will enter while posting a document that this is income from rent or income from interest so that I come to know that oh, okay so this particular document is for that purpose okay so basically we first need to create a fill status variant and under that fill status variant we create a multiple groups where we say that the particular field is mandatory particular field is optional see in what happened in SAP na, most of the time few field are mandatory few field I don't want to show to the user like suppose my due date suppose if I'm posting an invoice and there is particular due date for that invoice which should not get entered by user in that sim in that case what I'll do I will make that due date field as suppress or hide so that user is not able to see that field so if user is not able to see a field he will not enter any value okay so basically the fill status variant has or a fill status group has a four values that is hide require optional or suppress we have only three values compulsory entry then user have to enter some value in that particular field without that value user is not able to post any document in SAP okay so I'll show you that example once we start with the GL account but right now we will see how to create a fill status variant and how to assign a fill status group okay so let's get start with the SAP system I'm already in my implementation screen so here I'll go to the financial accounting financial accounting global settings documents line items define fill status variant okay so now here SAP has given one uh, what we can say a set of standard 
groups which we actually use or we do a copy or we make a copy of that group because it's very difficult to maintain every group like the way SAP maintain it. So I'll show you this is see this is the standard group actually triple zero one or uh, we can see the fill status group C G001 G003 these are our, all the groups so if you can see this uh, see here we will take example of bank account suppose obligatory value date what does that means the value date value is a mandatory where I can see that one second payment transaction see here the required entry value date entry is required okay see here we have three options that is suppress suppress means hide require and the optional if any entry is optional here user can enter a doc like post a document or a transaction without entering that particular value but suppose here Without entering a value date while posting a bank transaction, user is not able to post a document. Okay, so we will. I'll show you how to copy this. I'll take this and say copy. Okay, here I'll give my fill status variant name. I'll give like suppose N111. Okay, so I because I'm like maintaining a naming convention, so N triple one is my full status variant, and I click on enter. See here, they'll give me a message: entry one of the entries to be copied has dependent entry. That means my particular full status variant has a uh, forty eight groups under that particular. Okay, so the all entries I need to copy. So what I'll say, copy all. So when I say copy all, all the fill status group which is under the my fill status variant will get copy. So here it number is forty one. The forty one entries are get copy in my fill status group. Okay, and I'm going to save this. Okay, so my new fill status variant got created. We will see this here. See, n triple one is created. Okay, I can change the description here as well. Okay, and I just click on save. And we will see now the groups. See, these are the groups under my fill status variant. Which get copy automatically. Okay, now I'll show you one more interesting thing. In my previous session, if you know, I have created some account groups, right? So what we will do now? We will mm, okay. So I'll make some fill status group entries there. Like I'll make an text entry as a mandatory while posting my income group i want to do that here so what i'll do i'll go to my my chart of account is n triple one okay so see under the n triple one we have four account group asset expenses income liabilities okay so what i'll do i'll select my income account group and i'll choose on full status so See, I get this option here, account control, account management, document entry. Suppose if I select a document entry, then fill status, yeah, fill status group, supplement. So I'll make the fill status group as mandatory entry here. Okay, so while creating any GL for uh, income account group, I need to enter the fill status group. Okay, or what else we can add here? Currency.
Suppose if I want how like bank entry in GL is mandatory, so I will click here as a require entry. So while entering any uh, document for income group, you have to enter the house bank as well. Okay, so you can do that setting and we can do, yes, I want to save my changes and we can do the normal entries here. What I can say now, for my normal G001, I want, see, general, this is the gen general field status group actually. So here, what I'll do while post in a general data we have generally text field okay so what i am going to do uh, this text field entry is currently this is optional okay see the optional option is selected here so i'll make it as a require entry so while posting a document i'll receive an error that the text field is mandatory or please enter a value in a text field Okay, so we will see that error when once we started posting uh, documents in SAP. So right now I am just changing this setting. I am making text as a require field and I am going to save this. Okay, so I just hope guys you are clear with the fill status variant and the groups. See here we have a lot of groups actually if you are like a cost center is mandatory and plant maintenance you have like total see these are the few of them are controlling as well so this is reconciliation account group g067 you can assign it to the reconcile GL accounts okay so i just hope that you are clear with the fill status variant and the groups thank you so much for watching this video please do like share and subscribe thank you